it's it's funny because this feels like over a month ago, but it was actually just just after our last podcast, uh, just over a week ago, that we had our no hitter of the week, our no no of the week. That we've the Major League Baseball hasn't seen a whole lot of these. We named our segment about maybe a month ago because it seemed like a no hitter was happening every week. But the Cubs actually had a no hitter that was historic in that. It was the first time they had a combined no-hitter in Cubs history. They've had 17 or 18 no-hitters before, but they'd never had uh, the bullpen involved before. So the other historic or hilarious part of this is half of those four pitchers had no idea they were part of history at that time, Uh, as Andrew Chaffin and clearly Craig Kimbrell had no idea that he had just closed out a no-hitter as a... he was being tackled by his teammates and put in a headlock by Javi Baez. He kind of finally realized that something, something historic was happening, which is just perfect. Um, the, uh, it was, um, interesting. I mean, it was, I guess it was just funny, but mainly they didn't know because it was such a pedestrian game. There were plenty of runners on base because, Zach Davies had put on uh, at least, I think it was five walks. Yeah, five walks, yeah. So that might have led to the bullpen's confusion when they are coming to the game since they'd seen so much traffic on the bases that why would they be thinking no hitter at all? But whatever. I don't know. It was just funny. But that, that made me think it's kind of a sad no hitter. You know, it was fun at the time and it was more funny than anything. But now that it was like the last win that the Cubs have had in a week, it just makes me think of how sad that no hitter was, especially with five walks in it. But I, I, I tried to put together my top five list of saddest no hitters. Uh, and immediately what came to mind is, of course, Edwin Jackson. Uh, nine, nine, fan was favorite. It nine, nine walks in that game. It was eight walks and a hit oh. by pitch in, oh, okay. yeah. in 2012 for the Diamondbacks. So it was 100 and. Yeah. 149 pitches. Yeah, we, we began the debate all the way back then, uh, uh, writing about it. Like, yeah, do those do are those really worthy of? I mean, it, yes, it's a no hitter, but like the level of how bad that is. Yeah. It, well, is, Ed, Edwin Jackson has a special place for us because he's played for I think uh, three of our five teams. Yeah, just about everybody. Yeah. Yeah, he's played for half the over half the league now. I think. Um, but uh, yeah, Edward Jackson, a good guy all around. It's just oh. a sad no hitter. Super, uh, he's a super nice guy. He, I, I met him in a, oh, in did a you? pregame thing at one, and I said he was on my fantasy team when he was on the Sox uh, for nice. a little bit. And I said, "Hey, uh, go out and pitch a good one this week. Uh, I've got you on my fantasy team." And he goes, "Oh, I owe you a few." <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, so he had a he had a good sense of humor. Uh, another sad one on the list, of course, was Johan Santana in 2010 for the New York Mets, uh, where he threw 134 pitches. First no hitter in Mets history. Uh, that's um, that's mind boggling. I'm sure Johan Santana wanted it, but I felt like the manager kind of wanted it for the team to be their first no hitter in history. But unfortunately, his career was never the same after those 134 pitches. I believe he was out of the league after that. So. I would, I would put that in the sad category. Uh, another one on the list would be, of course, uh, Madison Bumgardner's no hitter in 2021, the seven inning no hitter. Uh, I would just make that sad because it's always going to have an asterisk. It led to quite a bit of debate whether it's even a, considered a no hitter. And then the Cubs 2021, of course. Um, <laughs> this list, this top five list is so sad. I only have four, four sad no hitters on it, but. I don't know if you had any others. Probably not. But no, the Edwin Jackson one, like just thinking off the top of my head, the Edwin Jackson one's always the one that like just immediately drops in my lap because I yeah. knew I knew he had nine base runners in that game. And that's that's uh, that's horrendous. 